uh, yeah, right. Uh, here we are just a, a day or two into the new year and uh, looking back on last year. Uh, wow. What a year for the markets, uh, 2019. Um, it, uh, just a remarkable, remarkable year. The NASDAQ uh, up uh, 40%. Wow. That's unbelievable. Well, you know, I, I, that's good. And I'm glad everybody made a lot of money. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. All those kind of things. But it, it, from a uh, perspective that we look at it, uh, it's not just about beating an index or beating some bogey that's out there. It's, it's, it's about uh, mm -hmm. us taking a risk first approach because if it can go up 40%, it can go down 40% and, and down is faster too. So, so <laughs> we're, we're, I'm not, I'm, I'm personally not deceived by any stretch of the imagination as to, as to but I'm happy. Right. We got a good bite out of it and we got our share and uh, mm -hmm. in fact, our, our, our little moderate model where you and I have most of our money. Yeah. Uh, from the time we actually had a track record, we're even, and yep. we're only about 60% exposed to equity. So yep. we've done, I'm pleased that we've done what we said we would do. And, um, and going forward, it, there'll be some other challenges because we're, uh, yep. we're not exactly like the market. So anyway, that's right. Uh, yeah. Um, do you, uh, do, uh, anything like that? Uh, set yourself goals or do you, do you look back and check off, tick off items on your to-do list for last year or anything like that? You know, Paula, I, I like the, uh, the, the, the holidays are, are a time where we have a little more time to read and to do things. And, mm -hmm. and I, I'm uh, and looking back, uh, I, I thought that some of the things that we really, uh, because for people who don't know, we, we've spent years, putting this together. This is not one of those things we just, uh, and, and I, I, I think right. that our models and our approach met. I had, I had <laughs> hair when we started this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, it, it met expectations and because we're a little different, you always worry about things, you know? And so I, I think that our model approach and even more so, I think that we have the kind of, uh, process that will deal with the downside equally as well. So, uh, uh, that, that part of me is kind of refreshing. And I look back at all the trades we made, all of the decisions that were forced upon us via our model. And I didn't see anything that really disturbed me. And, mm -hmm. and, and probably deep down, probably it's harder to deal with a straight up market that we basically had over the last uh, period of time from the, the, than, than one that, that goes straight down or, or, you know, makes, has some interim uh, ups and downs. And what about you? You, 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 you the guy. What, yep. what kind of thoughts did you have on looking back? Uh, I. It's interesting. Um, you know, I was, I was talking about uh, a couple of days ago. Um, the fact that uh, every year, um, it's been our tradition here. Uh, when the market rings the bell at uh, four o'clock Eastern time on a on the last trading day of the year, um, whoever's in the office here, um, we stop and we have a toast, you know, and, uh, usually it's an adult beverage and we, you know, just take a little taste and salute the outgoing year and, uh, welcome the incoming year. And, uh, we stop and think about what we accomplished. Um, we do keep a, you know, a, a set of goals, uh, you know, that gets updated on a, on an, mostly an annual basis you know we we sit and plan i sit and plan what i want for the next year and uh, we'll go back and look at that um and uh, this year uh, uh my son who um used to work with me but he left and uh went to work for um a big uh, mutual fund an etf complex um uh, down in uh um malvern pa i'm not going to say the name of the company but uh, i can tell you where it is and starts um, with a v it starts with a, it starts with a V, right? Uh, and it's a great company, and he's oh, yeah. he's, uh, he's he's there and uh, carving his niche out of the out of the corporate world. Um, but he stopped in. He was he was working at home that afternoon, and uh, came over, and showed up right as the bell rang with a with a uh, a bottle and a couple of glasses, and he said, "I thought I'd join the toast this year, even though I'm not usually around." and 
uh, we sat here and, you know, this is a long way of me getting to telling you what, when I look back uh, over the past year, things that, uh, where I am now in terms of my understanding, uh, and um, I, I would say that it's incredibly deeper, uh, incredibly more rich, incredibly more nuanced in terms of my understanding of why our investment strategies behave the way that they do. Um, uh, you mentioned a little bit earlier here that, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. You know, um, I'm, I'm not just talking about you and I working together, but, the, you know, just we, we've built businesses and sold them. We've been in this business for a long time. We've uh, taken different investment approaches. We've, we, we continually read uh, research that's coming out. Um, and, uh, and you and I started towards a goal uh, several years ago of developing strategies that would meet the needs of you and me as we, you know, are here in our, you know, whatever it is, you know, the, the last uh, 20% of our life here on earth, um, you, you invest a little bit different. You think a little bit differently. And um, so you and I started out to build portfolios that were managed primarily for risk and not for return. And the thing that we discovered, at least I thought we discovered it was that, low volatility portfolios, when you manage for volatility and downside risk, you actually can increase your performance. And that is counter to everything that I've been told my whole life as a professional investor and professional money manager, which was, if you want to make more money, you have to take more risk. <laughs> and if you'll recall, um, yeah. we, we got hung up on that for about a year because it I didn't... Mean, we it flew in the it's face of everything we knew. That's, that, that round pig in the square hole. That's well, that's what it was. You know, I, that's what it was. I, you know, uh, you and I would connect, and I'd say, "Help me out, brother. I've, you know, I'm, I'm seeing things that don't make sense, and you know, help me analyze this." And I'd, I'd show you a list, you know, you know, of, of back tested results and trades, and uh, you know, I'd say, "Could you take three or four days and go through these trades, you know, one by one by one, and kind of." what am I missing and what, what, what went wrong and why are we getting these results that cannot be true? And, um, for about a year we dissected this thing. We could not find a problem with it. Um, and, uh, and then you know, we started to, we started to put our money into it and then you started reading and you found out that what we thought we had discovered had been actually well documented, you know, in the investment research, but it's it it is fairly well ignored, and that is that uh, low volatility um, investing actually uh, offers the opportunity for higher returns with lesser risk. Um, we thought we we thought we had uh, discovered you know a new continent. Turns out that you know we showed up and you know there's already a mall there that you know, that. You know, yeah, I think that's you're understating it just a little bit, but but in reality, it was great to to hmm. refreshing to learn, you know, even as two old dudes, and 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 I think there's some other opportunities that are that are going to be out there. So. Oh, there's definitely opportunities. In fact, you know, again, I did my list this year. Uh, you know, looking forward to the next year, and uh, I've got a I've got a half a dozen things that I. Okay. I think moving forward that take what we've learned and apply it in, in, in different ways and in different markets and, um, you know, to meet different needs. So, um, for me, you know, big thing, uh, coming out, coming out of last year was, uh, especially because you've, you've done a lot of the research now and a lot of the reading and every, every Saturday I usually end up with four or five articles in my inbox from you that says, Hey, you should read this. And, we go and read it and I go, that's what we're doing. You know, that's how come nobody told me this before. And, uh, and it's because it's, it's, it's not old research, it's new research, but it's on an old concept. You and I call it exploits. You know, we've, these are exploits we can make. Um, yeah. The professional investing world calls it factor investing. Yeah. And I, I, was, uh, I was off on a deer hunt with a buddy and we had to drive for 45 minutes or so to get to our place and, he said, if you had to explain how you do this, what, 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 how would you do it? I said, his name's Paul, too. I said, I said, Paul, we've put 30 or 40 or 50 years of, of experiences together, and we have accumulated a few little edges. An edge means 
that we're betting on something that most people are not. Mm -hmm. and, and we've we've evolved in those edges and and actually have now taken them and exploited uh, mm -hmm. each of them uh, and and blended them. I think exploiting and blending those things into something that our, our client base uh, can can um, can be it can meet their needs because we we commit more money in different different areas, but the yep. areas are always the same. Yep. Just the, the uh, um, you sent me an article. Um, I think it was last weekend again, and um, uh, there are there are firms and companies and bloggers out there that really focus on these exploits and what's working and what's not working and when and how how they're working relative to one another. It might be a good idea in a week or two when we do our mid month uh, you know discussion here. Maybe we could throw some of those uh, charts and graphs up on the uh, on the screen and and talk about them. Um, you know, even without even without knowing that that kind of research already existed, you and I replicated a lot of it. And uh, we kind of, like I say, we thought we, we were going to be able to patent this, you know, but because, uh, you know, it's something new, but we're, Paul, we're replicating Paul, what's been done. And that's a great affirmation. Paul, yeah. Paul, we don't just talk slow down here in Georgia. <laughs> It takes a little longer for it to process. I got an excuse. I don't know what yours is, but I, I got one. I, I use mine a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, mine is that uh, I'm isolated here and uh, uh, I don't, you know. Your wife would probably say you're hard headed or something. You know, oh, you got, oh you I've yeah. got, you, you've got one or I, I helped you get one. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hard headed or stubborn. Yeah. I think she would, she would, uh, she would definitely endorse that, that, uh, description of me. But, um, and like I said, you know, oh, I, th I, I'm going to use this excuse that it's just not, it's not well supported in, uh, the majority report of, of in, in professional investing. Um, it, uh, it, it is becoming more accepted. We're starting to even see products out there that, that's, you know, are built around the concepts that you and I are employing. Um, the thing that I don't see out there, even with all the research that's coming to light and the, you know, the recent kind of um, embracing of kind of a low volatility factor investing <clears throat> is I don't see people um, combining these different exploits in, in the way that we do. Um, and it gives us a, I think a, a, a leg up that we, that we kind of handle these things individually and uh, recognize that each of those exploits has a particular uh, effect on on an investment portfolio that that you can um, program to kind of give you a, a particular return and um, uh, risk profile. And by because we can expect these things, we can actually blend them and uh, create a recipe that uh, actually is really palatable and kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah. And my explanation uh, to the guy I was riding out to go deer hunting, uh, I said, I said, I, I guess I could sum it all up and say, if somebody wants to have the same returns that you and I do, we can supply that information at a relatively low cost because uh, I want to see what my portfolio holds. <laughs> I got, I'm in it. I, mm -hmm. I, I have exactly what we put out there. And I don't know too many people out in the investment business could say that, but we, we could certainly show you exactly. And, and it's something that I believe in, but I got, I, I'm in, you know, I got, I got my whole, I'm in up to right here. So but yeah. I'm happy about it. And I look forward to the year and, uh, I, but I do have one more request. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the hat, man. I'll tell you what, I, there's got to be a story behind that hat. There is, there is a story behind this hat. Now, I have, I have, I, I'm, I like hats and I wear a lot of caps and uh, the, uh, you know, the, you know, the kind of the, with the bill in the front and all that stuff. And, and they're great. I, you know, I've got different things and I've got some business ones and uh, every one of them reminds me of something, uh, but I, I, I wear them hard and, they, uh, and I, I, I can go through a, a, one of those caps in three months during the summer. Just, I just sweat through it, you know, and it rots out. But, uh, uh, I have a, 
a, a, a Stetson. Um, this is not. This is a Justin um, El Chipo Grande, but um, it's still, you know, stylish and comfortable. But it's a straw hat, and it's a summer hat. But uh, I had to put it on because Carolyn got it for me for Christmas. I had been looking for a hat like this for a long, long time, and I couldn't find one in my size because I've got a big, fat head, and they don't, you know, you just don't find them in the stores. You have to order them, and, you know. Um, anyway, three weeks ago, my grandson uh, visited, and he came to stay for a day or two. He's he's almost 20 now, and uh, he came walking up from the basement where he sleeps when he's here, he came walking up and he had a hat like this on. I said, Oh, that's a hat I've been looking for. Uh, and where'd you get it? And you know, he told me and I said, I've already looked there. And, uh, I said, I, I really like the way that hat looks on your head. And, you know, so he, he felt pretty good about, about it. He wore it around the farm all day and, uh, even out to dinner. And I had to make him take it off if we sat down at the table, you know, <laughs> when you can't eat dinner with that, you know, but um, so uh, I guess, you know, Carolyn heard me talking about this, the fact that I'd like, I'd been looking for a hat like that and I couldn't find one. And so she talked to my grandson and they looked inside the hat band and the, the sweat band and they got all the particulars. And then she went online and uh, she found the size that I wanted and she, she ordered it. So um, that's how I ended up with this hat, but I, but I like it. It's a, it's stiff, you know, it's not, it's not the, it's, they lacquer them up. Um, but, uh, I like it. I like it. Keeps the, uh, keeps the snow off my ears. Uh, <laughs> that's well, a story about that hat. I'm really looking forward to 2020 and I'm, uh, uh, I, I think it, we've got some good things ahead of us. I think the market's going to be challenging. You know, it was pretty easy this year. We didn't have to make many decisions. It was, it, 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 you only got uh, rewarded if you had money in the market and kept it in there. But we knew that after the fact. We didn't know it ahead. That's right. Going forward, I got a feeling we'll have a little more volatility. Everybody's mm -hmm. got profits in the market. Yeah. And everybody, the first time we get some down, downward action, they're going to there will be some human nature reactions that will yeah. Yeah. will pile on a little bit. Everybody, I call it, everybody gets on the same side of the boat and it makes it pretty easy to flip. <laughs> yeah. So That's right. yep. we've got some things ahead of us that will, will challenge our uh, ability to use uh, our models and, and to deal with, with, with the things that are important with people in their portfolios. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, uh, and I did say this to Cliff when he was in here, my son, for our toast, um, you know, that it has been a long time since we've had a significant pullback. You know, I mean, we had a 16% pullback in the fourth quarter of 2018, but it didn't last very long. You know, it, it on Christmas Eve, it, it bottomed out and it tanked, and then it just took off from there for the rest of the, you know, for the next 12 months. Um, and that's another thing, uh, you know, it's it's one thing to go through a downturn. It's, a, it's another thing to have an incredibly long recovery. And that, that did not have a long recovery. So it wasn't painful as, as it could have been. But uh, I'm, there's a part of me that wants to see a 20% correction because I want to see how I believe that our portfolios are, yeah. are not going to get but, but a taste of that. And that's going to separate us from the rest of the world. That our portfolio was built on a risk basis yep. and that's where the proof comes in. You know, yep. now it doesn't mean that we're going, uh, we're, we're not into getting out at the top or some of these other things, that people, but I think our portfolio will handle it. And at the, and then at the next bottom, we're not going to have as far to go to get back even again. As, as that's right. People who just took the right. Yes. And that's the key. That is the key to low low volatility factor investing. And uh, so I I really don't want to see the market go down. I don't want to see people lose money. But part of me wants to wants to test and prove, you know, that what we say is true, and uh, and do it uh, real time live. So, right. um, you know, we'll see. It'll come. I don't. I just I just don't know when, and I don't know how deep. But uh, oh. we'll see. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I'll be talking to you soon. Yes, sir. All right.